Okay, catch up before we go in the greenhouse. So zebra grass has gotten pretty tall in a couple of weeks. And the colouring's coming on it really nicely. The alliums have now burst open. And we've got some more dianthus. And I thought they'd completely died down. But nope, they've come back. Agualesia. And look at the, how beautiful are these. I was given these last week to put in the community. And I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And I may well grab some and put some in my house. Because they're everywhere. Not in the house. In my garden. They're absolutely everywhere and they're beautiful. <sighs> love these. I love the <laughs> It sounds weird. But I love the line that's in them. Anyway, let's have a look at my, at my bit. Okay, so first, I we'll have a look. There's so much sun. This has really, really, really taken a hold. Very early on, it's this kind of greeny colour. And then it goes black very, very quickly. It is a deep red, really, but it's black. Over here, we have love in a mist. It's not going to be long before that's open. And just under here, what do we have? Um, the other dianthus. We have the Geordie, Geordie Centura, Scillia has opened up really, really nicely. Only a couple of flowers left. Very nice, very nice. And then this spider wart the beautiful deep purple against the lime green always regard as absolutely stunning and then we've got one down there and then cornflower black ball which of course is black hiya which is a lovely black colour hence the name black ball and then over here the globe thistle globe thistle which is getting nice and tall now grows very quickly when it does uh, it's one of the jumping ones no, I didn't get close. No, I didn't get close. <laughs> Let's have a look in the garden. Okay, so the salvia is in dire need of a drink, but we've had five days of rain. So there are some of these flowers dying off. But there's plenty that are incoming absolutely oodles incoming my curly locks which I've saved about 20 million times you wait until this flowers absolutely beautiful I think it's the only succulent in the garden I have I think Lithodora is slowly closing up. It's a shame you can't see the proper purple of it. And the Macea. The last time I showed you this, I said it is bicolour. This is all the same plant. They start out a 
pinky well it's more it's not going to show on the camera is it start out more the pink and then they slowly get darker and then they get darker still and some end up with both colors on which this one is because it's got the more purple in the middle and I still don't know what this is there were tomatoes in here last year and I don't know what the bloody gek this is I've just got to wait and find out but it needs to come out anyway let's get to the greenhouse we're in the greenhouse well I am okay as you can see we've had some germinating going on whoop 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 and I haven't shown you these properly for a little while I showed you these a few weeks back where they look practically dead and I just ripped a load out like a load about that much out stuck it in a pot and all three pots blooming lovely so they'll be ready to tra be transplanted soon Lupin Russell Dolphinium I don't well, I'm telling you the names because it's on them. This one is the only one that's kind of come up and it's run away again. So I've got to put that to one side. Um, that's the carousel. Another lupin. Governor. Swans down. Sal, Sal pig losses. Bolero and Nigella. Ace of Spade Scabiosa. More Nigella, but a black variety. And this is Corydali Maladalis. Uh, Malkensis. Now, this, I've wanted to grow this for so many years and it's never germinated. Can you see that? A couple of leaves and they haven't done hardly anything. Hello. Hi. Welcome in. We're not focusing on you apparently. Hi. You come to do some gardening too? Hmm. 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 Not much in there. And if you wondered, this is garlic which I grow all year and this is a lemon tree originally I thought it would just <gasps> there's a jumping spider on it oh my god <gasps> originally I grew it because I thought it'd get rid of some of the flies no it doesn't it doesn't anyway let's get up here so sweet peas one two and three all growing flamingo poppy lobelia oops lobelia got a couple of lobelias because this is another one at the back which i'm not showing you very well this is a black version at the back are we drinking i can hear drinking where are you oh. We're smutting, not drinking, huh? Okay. Uh, this one, what is this one? Oh, another lobelia. Okay. It's a different, completely different to that. I mean, you look at that leaf and you look at that one, completely different. Black briz at the back. Here, the hollyhock. Now, this is what I think is in that pot that I showed you a moment ago with the giant leaves. I think that's what this is. Sweet William. Another Scabiosa at the back. Veronica at the back. Speedwell. Sweet William again, but a different variety. Another Veronica. A very very bold blue sweet William 
And then we've got the parafarafarafarafara that I can never pronounce. And then up here we're still waiting for things to germinate. And down here we're waiting for things to germinate. So today, what am I doing? Got some repotting to do. But first, I better show you. So these were seeds that I won from Garden State Gardener. And the slugs ate four shoots and I thought they were all gone. But this one has come up. Um, hopefully I'll keep hold of it. These two are for a friend. And then are these my cherries? No, these are the big ones. So all of these are my cherry tomatoes. And I'm going to take, and they're all random varieties as well, but I'm going to take three of them and put them one, two, three. And I'm going to take four of these random big ones and put them in one, two, three, four. And maybe I might be able to get a couple of the cherries in the big pot where I think is the hollyhock. I don't know what's in there. So they're all growing really, really well. Anyway, let's get repotting. Someone's keeping me company while I repot. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do repotting. That's better. Okay, so I apologise if you're going to get my head every now and again. I am sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But let's, let's get some of these down. Some of them are going to be repotted. Some of them are going straight into the garden, like this pink, fl 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 pink flamingo is going straight into the community, so I'm going to put that aside for a moment. Green is desperate for water, there we go. Right, so I now have tray which is lovely so what am I aiming to repot Lobelia Crystal Palace I really want a separate pot for them another Lobelia and blackberries they're going out and they're going behind the greenhouse and I know you can't see it brilliantly Ooh. but in that corner is where the blackberries are going I hope okay let's see how we get on oh black peony is going out as well it's beautiful beautiful flower it's going out the front in my God, in my um, front border and this sweet William is going into a pot just outside my back door and it's got a slug on it so I'm going to get rid of it with a bit of salt yep I mean okay so what else? I'm hoping that one, that one, and that one. It's a lot to do. So I'm probably going to end up time lapsing it, and I apologise for my head getting in the way again. I did say I was sorry. Um, tomatoes. Okay, let's get going, huh? Pots. So 
let's put some aside for a moment. We can use that. Oh, is that gyps going in as well? Gyps going in the front. Sweet clean. See, look, you don't want that. I'm trying to repot them so we don't have that. But we'll see how many I, I can do. Get done. Okay, so we're going for that first scabiosa. Now that's going straight outside. Hollyhock. Hmm. I might put that out still. No, I'm going to repot that. Okay, let's do the hollyhock first. Oh, scared the heck out of me then. You see him? And he's alive. Hiding in my pots. A flying snail and it's not going to focus is it oh well flying snail because I chucked it over near the compost okay talking of compost better get filling now when I repot the thing that I do different to the flower bits two things two not two two um and one of them why can't i find it i know it's here oh there it is I put it in the wrong spot if it's something that needs to be kept moist i put some vermiculite in no matter what it is and if it's a flower, I'll put a small sprinkling of slow release fertilizer. But I need to get some compost. So bear with me. Oh, look at my poor glove, poor glove. Right now, is that I'm just filling it a lot up, not exactly to the top, but what I'm going to need to do, I'll show you a small little trick that you can do when you're outside because I'm not going to be able to film this. If you dig yourself a hole, let's say you've got a hole and you've got a plant to put in it, fill the hole up to the point where the top of your pot meets. I'll show you in a second. You see that was a little bit too low. That's about right. About right. And then you fill in the sides of the pot. While the pot's still in situ in the hole. So remember, this is a hole, not a pot, right now. But this is a little trick I can show you for the first one and just make an utter mess with it. And the purpose of doing this, what I'm showing you, is to eliminate as much air around the pot, uh, around the plant as you can, because it needs to get straight into the nutrients in the soil. So you pack it 
in. A little bit more. And yes, I'm making a mess, and yes, I'll clean it up. Thank you, Mum. And some of these that I'm growing in here are what I not only sell on eBay, but also I give away the seeds. In my germinators giveaway so watch out okay so let's say that's your hole you've packed it in you take out the pot and you're left with an indentation carefully remove what needs to go in the hole and you literally pop it in Press it down a little bit, and there you have your plant perfectly in and no air. Ta da! But you do that in the ground. But this next little bit, I'm going to speed up because otherwise, you're going to get even more bored than you probably are already. So Okay, so I have, I'll show you what I've done so far, if I can, without messing the camera up too much. <laughs> okay, so I now have some very useful trays, much needed. which means I can fill them. And all up here is stuff which is to be kept 
moist. Now I still have one, two, three, four that need repotting. I'm going to put the biggest one of these out the front and I have those to put outside but right now I need to get some tomatoes in but I have done Lupin the Governor Sweet Pea Royal Blue which is another one that I'm putting outside tallest one Corydalis is done Lobelia Crystal Palace done Giant Hollyhock done Petunia Pirouette now this is going to be one for a hanging basket and I hate the leaves because they're so sticky and Lobelia Marine Blue so that is all of them I'm pleased I've done as many as I have my lavenders nothing nothing and that's one I desperately need go in nothing nothing um a little bit a little bit a little bit this is a salvia and if you're wondering what the stuff is on them it's cinnamon helps keep ants off and it's also great for germinating now Let's see if I can put you in a different angle and then you can um, have the joy of watching me put stuff into the tomato bed. Let's see what happens. Okay. So, what am I doing? I am doing... Where's my little dip dab dip dab dip dip dip? This. Okay, so big tons. Oh, the smell coming off them. No doubt they're tomatoes. Whew. Okay, so I need to separate these anyway because some are going to one friend, some are going to me, and all the rest are going to another friend. hoping that I've got a good mix because they're all different varieties. 